Hello and welcome to Critical Thinking in Global Challenges. I'm Céline Kakino. And I'm Mike Dutia. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Over the next five weeks, we'll introduce you to some essential concepts in critical thinking and develop your critical thinking skills using some examples from real life questions and challenges that face us today. Critical thinking is the ability to gather and assess information in a logical, balanced and reflective way to be able to reach conclusions that are justified by reason argument. We live at an exciting time where information on virtually any topic is widely and easily available in many various ways. It is crucial to be able to evaluate this information, to think for ourselves and to think independently. We're also faced with some of the most challenging global issues that we have ever faced from the threat of global epidemics to the implications of changes in global climate and the pressures of an ever-increasing human population. These are complex challenges with no right or wrong answers and it's very important for us to be able to think and understand these issues in a rational and logical way. However, this is not a course on global challenges. We're going to use examples from these global challenges with which to practice critical thinking. We will point you to um, sources where you can learn more about these global challenges, but the focus of the course is a pragmatic approach to critical thinking. By the end of the course, you will be able to better understand where information comes from, better understand the nature of evidence, you will be able to assess arguments and to develop your own argument. Throughout this course, you will have numerous opportunities through varied exercises to practice and enhance your critical thinking skills. Here is the plan for the course over the next five weeks. In week one, you will learn about the key concepts involved in critical thinking. In week two, you will learn how to assess evidence given to support arguments and theory. In week three and four, you will learn how to assess arguments using current global challenges as a basis to practice your critical thinking skills. Finally, in week five, you will learn how to develop your own arguments. Please note that this is a basic, informal and very pragmatic course, which focuses on getting you to think rationally and critically about evidence and does not attempt to teach you about logic, reasoning and knowledge in a formal way. The course consists of short weekly lectures associated with review quizzes. Each week there is an additional exercise for you to practice and assimilate the key concepts covered in that week. In weeks three and four, we'll ask you to focus on one of four global challenges. We have selected four themes that we hope you will find stimulating. The challenge of obesity worldwide, the change in global climate, human population growth, and the threat from infectious diseases in the modern world. The relevant background information for each of these global challenges will be provided by our colleagues Dr. John Menzies, Dr. Kim Picosi and Dr. Richard Milne with their expertise in these different areas. We hope you will choose one of these four themes to focus on and apply your critical thinking skills to some of the evidence and arguments in these areas. And finally, in week five, there is an optional final assignment for those of you who want to complete the certificate award for this course. We hope you will enjoy doing this course and we're really interested to hear how you're getting on and what you're doing. So make sure to log into the discussion forum of the course to post your comments and questions and to discuss ideas with your fellow students of the course from all around the world. So I think now it's time to start the course. So let's start with my own uh, overview in the essential concept of critical thinking.